طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا مرة أخرى في درس جديد من دروس المنح ودرسنا اليوم الدرس السابع والعشرون هو أسماء الإشارة كبدل أو مبتدأ. We look at demonstratives and how they are combined with phrases and with sentences. أولا أسماء الإشارة. Let's look at أسماء الإشارة first of all and learn them. So, عندنا المفرد والمثنى والجمع. المذكر والمؤنث في كل من هذه الحالات المذكر والمؤنث أيضا. تمام؟ So, أولا عندنا أسماء الإشارة للقريب وأسماء الإشارة للبعيد. It's the difference between this and that. So, هذا هذه this masculine and this feminine and we're still in the mufrad. Hadani, hadaini. Remember that with the muthanna, there are actually these two forms. When we get into the Arab and putting case, case endings, then we will talk about that. Feminine, hatani, hataini. Notice basically that there's an alif after the ha now, whereas in hadha, hadihi, you pronounce an alif but you don't write it. Al jam'u, haulai. Once again, you hear the alif, but you don't write it down. Now, let's take a look at al asma al ishara al baid for things that are further away, that is in the realm of that. So, ذلika, tilka, that, masculine and feminine. ذانika, ذينika, وتانika, تينika. This is the masculine for those two masculine, those two feminine. And once again, we see the variation in the case. The plural is one. أولائك تذكروا يا طلابي When we talked about the phrase and the sentence in Arabic and how agreement or disagreement between the noun and the adjective are extremely important here. Notice in our first combination and now we're in the realm of phrase, كُلِّيَّةٌ مَشْهُورَةٌ Both the noun and the adjective are indefinite. We're in the realm of phrase, a famous college. This is not a full sentence. When you make them both definite, الْكُلِّيَّةُ الْمَشْهُورَةُ You're also saying the famous college. This is not a sentence. However, if you make them disagree in definiteness, then you are in the realm of sentence. So, الكليه مشهورة Now, this is جملة اسمية مبتدأ وخبر. المبتدأ الكلية والخبر مشهورة. Now, the college is famous. There's a subject and there's a predicate after is. والآن قارنوا يا طلابي. Compare these. Now, we're introducing a demonstrative pronoun before these phrases or sentences to see the sort of combinations that we can make. Look at the first one, which is a phrase. هذه الكلية المشهورة This is not a full sentence. You're saying, this famous college. Whereas in the examples that you see below, the combination is different, and we have a sentence instead. هذه الكلية مشهورة So once again, there's that disagreement between الكلية and مشهورة and we're saying this college is famous in this next example this is a famous college is achieved by هذه كلية مشهورة in this جملة اسمية هذه is المبتدع now this is acting actually as your subject كلية مشهورة is the predicate is الخبر the last sentence is quite emphatic. As if you're saying, not that one, not the other one. This is the famous college. Now in these cases here, if you notice, when you say, In this combination here, when you have a lif lam in the noun following a demonstrative, it's called badan, meaning it's an apposition. يعني the word هذه or الكلية could be acting the same. You could say in this sentence هذه مشهورة if you're pointing 
to the college itself or a picture of it and it would still be understood or you could take هذه and say الكليه مشهوره and the sentence would stand this is called badan so al qaida to the rule is kullu ism mu'arraf bi al ba'da ism isharat fahuwa badan shukran jazilan ala intibahikum wa araakum fi ddars al qadim